So we continue our theme this weekend, this week. And this question I can hear. Where are you? God knows where we live, God knows the block, our apartment, the nation where we live. But it has to do with where we are in our walk with him, our life with him. Where we are in our walk with him, in our assignment. I remember once I read from, I think it was a CEO in a company who said like this. And he asked some of his employees, or, yeah. The following question: <laughs> What will the company miss if we didn't have you employed? Here, Tanrik, after Tanrik, Tanrik, been there. Just to support, but be there. You got to go. It's just so. That's a sharp question. <laughs> Meaning. Where are you in the company? Are you of any use, any benefit, or? The inner looks of the cat for a tamarin company, amarning a ship of Sukhino, who you would get us. Can we do well without you? Ten 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 will be very achievable, so far it is to be. Can we even do better without you? Ten who are to stand back in office. So it's the question where are you? You know? The entire hand you could have a very success. God is living in his heavenly kingdom. He created the earth. He created mankind. He created Adam and Eve. They were the firstborn of a new human race. He had expectations. He knew that through them his glory would spread. Because he created them perfect. He blew his spirit into them perfect. He shaped them 
perfect. <laughs> so they were the forerunners. They were the first generation of a new race on earth. Not a new race because there was nobody before them, but the first race then. <laughs> Adam was the first man on earth. Eve the first woman on earth. There might have been dinosaurs or whatever, I don't know. I don't care, but Adam was the first man. <laughs> I don't care how million of years they were before Adam, Adam was the first one. But after Adam and Eve deviated, God knew something has happened. To the foreigners. And because they are foreigners, if the foreigners deviate, the whole lineage will deviate. And it did. So instead of glory being reproduced and spread through the descendants, evil spread. For their descendants. That's what God decided already there in the Garden of Eden. That there will be a new Adam. Amen. Amen. Who will crush the head of the serpent. And bring back the whole deviated human race, bring it back to the Father. Amen. What a plan. What a plan. All humanity. Because man has his free will. So God could not force him back. Force you back or force me back. But he called us. With the voice of love. The voice of purpose. That's why there also means so much suicide in our nations because people lose purpose in life. It even young people lose purpose, lose hope. So we are important as forwards, as voices, the voice of hope. So that's the question, where are you? The question is for me, the question is for her, it's for every person. Are we? are we fluctuating, shifting all the time? Are some of us on the way, away from the track? Are some of us on the way back to the track? Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> Turn the back of it. It's wonderful when people come back to the track. Sometimes we see people drive away, drift away. And our heart cries. Because we know the potential. We know the possibilities. We know God's history in their lives. How God called them, how God led them, how God blessed them. Maybe God healed them. Maybe when they were unemployed, God found a work for them. Amen. When they lost finances, God provided somehow to rescue them. We know the history of his blessings. At the same time, we see them drift away. And we don't understand. Because, because of that story, they should stick to the path. Yeah, we, we refuse to be frustrated. Because frustration is harmful. It's like anger and bitterness. Sometimes we think we should not be angry because I will hurt somebody with my anger or my angry words. 
заримдаа бид нэг мэддэг шүү дээ. За би ийм гэж уурлсан байж байгаа ийм хүнд үг хэлэх юм бол энийг гомдоо ингээд уурлахаа болиин өөрийгөө тайлшруулдаг шүү дээ. That's okay to think like that. Ингээд гэж бодож болно. But there's something worse. За энэс долоон дор нэг юм. Anger hurts the angry person. Уурчин тэр уурлаж байгаа хүнээ өөрийг нь гэрдэдэг байхгүй. The person who carries the anger. Өөрийг тэж авч чинь өөрөө гэддэг. Bitterness is the same. Хорсолос айдлаа. Let no bitter root grow up among you. Хамгийн дотор хорсолын ямар ч үндэс бүр үд суулгагдаж байгаа. When you are bitter at something or somebody. Ямар нэгэн зүйлд хин нэгэнд хорсох. We harm them. Тэгтээ бид нар тэдний бид the bitter person is the most harmed. Харин а тэр хорсож байгаа хүн өөрөө тэр гинтэснээсээ ч ихэр гинддэг. That's why we should be we should not be frustrated. Тийм учраас бид нар бүхэлдсэн цохолцсон байдлаар сахаа. Тэр цохолцсон байдлаар чи өөрийг ч нэг гэдэг юм. Can you imagine God seeing Adam and Eve walking away? Бурхан биш чи Адам нэмэ хоёр ингээд гараа ярьж байгааг харж ирсэн гэдэг та боддоо. If we feel frustrated and sad when people drift away, how much more he? Бид нар хүмүүсээ замаасаа гарч явах харахтаа цохолточ те бүхэмдтэй бол бурхан бүр тэр тусмаа яаж байгаа бол He could have opened the earth and swallowed them. Шууд газрыг нэг их гэдэг зайлгуулж байлгуулж чадна шүү дээ. And create a new one. Nobody knew that would be the one before. Шууд цаа шиг нэг бүтээсэн дээр нөгөө нэгийн зайлцсан гэдэг хин ч мэдэхгүй. Яг адилхан нэг бүтээсэн. It's like drawing and then the rubber nobody will see the bad drawing. Муха олон гот нь баларлалтаа дахиад зурч байгаа. God decided to make a new one, the last Adam, Jesus Christ. Эцсийн Адам боёо Иесус Христ шин нэгний гаргаж ирэхээр тэр төлөвлөсөн гэсэн. Hallelujah. Amen. So So God when God asks where are you is because he has something in mind. Бурхан чи хаана юм гэж асууж байгаа түүний оюун бодол нэг бодол юм. And what he has in mind is you and I becoming the forerunner of others. Түүний санаанд байгаа бодол нь юу вэ гэхээр та бид хоёр бусдын өмнө гүхч байхсан. So we Christians. Тэр бид нар христчин. As we begin to understand kingdom, the kingdom. Хаанч төлийг ойлгоод ихэлхээрээ we make some discoveries. За тийм нэлтүүдийг хийдэг байгаа бид нар. The first discovery we make is he has taken us out of darkness and put us into light. За хаанч төлийг мэдсэн бидний хамгийн хүрүүд нээдэг зүйл юу вэ Тэр биднийг харанхуугаас гэрэл рүү шилжилсэн юм байна. Transfer us from the kingdom of darkness and put us in the kingdom of his beloved son. Биднийг харанхуу хаачлаас хайрт хүүгийнхээ хаачлалт руу шилжүүлсэн юм байна. Something serious has happened. Энд маш ноцтой ухацтай явагдсан байна. За хоёрдох нь бидний нээж мэддэг хоёр зүйл юу вэ? It's not only about heaven. In my eternal life in heaven is also about my walk with God on earth before I go to heaven. Бурхан зөвхөн намайг мөнхий усад очиод мөнхий усад мөнхөд амьдрахыг талаар санаа тавиаг юм байна. Харин газар дэлхийд дээр би түүнтэй хам алхаж амьдрах хэвээр юм байна гэдгийг бид нар нээдэг байна. That's a very important discovery. Энэ бол маш чухал нээлт мөн. I don't know how churches are. I don't know every church. Би бүх сүмийг мэдэхгүй, бүх сүмүүд яагдгийг би мэдэхгүй. But I could say that maybe зүйлийг мэдэх 80% of Christians have not discovered them. Христчтэй 80% нь энийг мэдэхгүй явж байгаа. Гэдгийг бол би хэлж чадна. Because maybe because they don't know, they have not realized, they have not heard it, they have not seen it yet. Магадгүй тэр дэр сонсоогүй, хараагүй үзэг учраас мэдэхгүй байгаах. But maybe it's because that thought is very challenging. Эсвэл энэ гэж бодох нь үнэхээр одоо бид нэг сонгодог, сорьдог учраас Энийг мэдхийг хүсдэг. The thought of going to heaven one day and have eternal life with him is not challenging. Нэг өдөр мөнхий усад очиод тэнцээний бурхантай хав мөнхөд амьдрах гэдэг бодол чинь бид нэг ерөөс сорьж сонгохгүй татахгүй. He took the challenge. Харин бурхан дээр чи сорьж болох. For that to happen. Энэ зүйл бол. And we receive the benefit of his him taking the challenge. Бурхан хийхээ хийгээд тэр бид нар түүний ажлын улмаас үр ашгийн зүгээр бүтээж авах. There is no challenge. Challenging that. He is secure. He did it. And I received it. And I'm thankful for that. For the rest of my life. For all eternity, I will be thankful. But the thought of that before I get there, there is a walk on earth. That's a challenging thought. 
мөрхөө өсөд очихсон юм би газар чийдэр бурхантай алхах ёстой юм гэж бодох нь бид нэрийг ингэж сонсох байхгүй. It's not his challenge anymore or his responsibility to give account and be accountable. Хүмүүс бид нэр угаасаа ямар нэгэн хариуцлага хүлээх, ямар нэгэн үүрэг хүлээх дургүй байдаг. There is something inside of us that does not like it. Яагаад ч бид нэрийн дотор хүн болгоны дотор нэг тийм тийм дуртай байдаггүй юу гэсэн. That's why when God says, okay, I secure heaven for you. За мөнхий ус бол та нэр Faithfulness. Why talk about that? Why not talk about heaven? The in in the mirror, just a short thing. Three girls, five sugar. So that's the second discovery. The in a short Peter's lesson. That's your challenge. That's your wake up call. In a Peter's sirk, at the sirk is what. That's why some churches don't want that. The most challenging thing about putting kick was to go. The response to that is, I am in Christ. The three heroes you were happy here is after me. I'm a new creation. Be as you put it. Christ transfer from darkness to light to his kingdom of light be harunhuugas burkhni gerhi hanchlalum shi therefore i have to carry that light in my walk өөрөх алхаан дотор энэ гэрлийг тээж явах хэрэгтэй have to walk in this world like a child of light би энэ дэлхий дээр гэрлийн хүү адил алхах хэрэгтэй that's the second the third discovery is за гурд тхнэлт нь god wants me to have descendants бурхан намаг үр удамтай байгаас гэж хүсдэг that's another discovery And that's the one I'm talking about this week. In Tlaqt bi in talar yarid baga. So we are we have been transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Yes. За бид нар харанхуй ханчлаас гэрлийн ханчлаг шилжүүлэгдсэн үг юу тий. We are new creation in Christ. Христ дотор бид шин бүтээл болсон. But then it's not only about heaven, it's about walking on earth. Гэтэл энэ бүх зүйл чинь зөвхөн мөнхий устай хамаатай байгаа босхгүй газар дэлхий дээр хийгдэх ажлууд байна. Not only we are in Christ, but Christ has to be formed in us so we can walk in that. Зөвхөн би Христ дотор байгаа зохсгоо Христ миний дотор хэлбэрчиг хэлбэрчүүлэгдээ би тэр дотор нь алхах хэрэгтэй. The purpose of that is because Үүний зорилго юу юм бэ гэхээр there will be descendants. Үр удмын хат өлөө. So Christ has to be formed. Тэр Христ миний дотор хэлбэрчих. Christ can be reproduced in the next generation. Тэр Христ миний дотор хэлбэрчсэн тэр Христ дараагийн үеийн хэмлүү үрчигдэх хэрэгтэй. So the second discovery is very challenging. За тэр хоёр тхнэлт бол үнэхээр бид нэг чангааж юм. I have to walk right. The third discovery is more than challenging. It's scary. <laughs> Because others will pick up my example. As somebody said to me recently, you spoke and I followed your guidelines. We might think, whoa, that's great. That's great and scary. Бид нар энийг сонсол ямар агуу юм бэ гэж бодож байгаа юм. Тэгэхээр агуу байхын сацуу энэ аймшигтай. Your life is reproducing in another person. Энэ юу гэж юм хэлээ дээ? Тэгэхээр таны амьдрал чи өөр хүний амьдрал дээр ингээд одоо үрчигтэй дээ. Now this discovery should not be such a big one. За тэгэхээр энэ нээлт бол тийм том нээлт биш. Because we are families. Бид нар чи гэр бүл. Everybody should know. Хүн болгон үнийг мэддэг шүү дээ. Not everybody have children. За хүүхдтэй хүн болгон биш. But everybody has been the child of somebody. Тэгээ хүн болгон хүүхдгүй байж болно. Гэтэл 
хүн болсон хин нэгний хүүхэд байж үзсэн гэдэг. So we know about that. Тэр бид нар энийг мэдэн. That the next generation must pick up from their parents. Parents are the trainers. That's the theme of this week. Just opening up for you. The first thing I really pray for is that you become even more conscious of that. As a beginning. Yeah, so become conscious. Whoa, somebody will pick it up if my life has a guideline for them. Whoa. And I cannot say whatever I want to say. I cannot explore. Because the Bible says, for example, that anger is contagious. Don't walk with an angry person because it will contaminate your life. You will pick it up. Don't walk with an angry person because it will contaminate your life. You will it let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth. But only such as is good for building up. Assist the occasion. So no. That it may give grace to those who hear. So we have to have upbuilding words. That's why we have to have good couple lives. We who are married. Because children read their parents. They read angry faces, they read loving gestures, they read hugs. Like it's a stiff hug. Like hug a tree. I remember once I had, such a, I hugged such a person. I thought I had hugged the wall. It was like, Doop. Children, they will read that. They will hear the sorry word. Hopefully not the F word, but the S word. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Not only from the husband to the wife, but for the wife to the husband. Even from the parents to the children. The only thing is humiliating to ask for apology to your children. They learn an important lesson. I had to write a letter to my older son once. And I had to ask for apology for a certain thing. A situation which was like burning my brain. I saw the place, I saw him, I saw myself, I heard what I said, I heard what he's Everything was like painted on, on the wall. Mm-hmm. I should have understood that before. It took me years to find out. Maybe I should do something about it. The one that decided. I wrote a letter. I described the whole situation. I said my reaction was absolutely wrong. It was not humiliating. I hope he picked up a lesson. So parents can say apology to the children. If you blew it, you blew it, period. Being, being a parent does not make you a saint. 
эцэг их байна гэдэг чинь та гигэнтэн болно гэсэн үг биш. Бид нар алтай гаргадаг. Sometimes the mistakes are invisible, sometimes they are visible. Заримдаа үзэгдэх алтай гаргадаг, заримдаа үзэгдэхгүй алтай гаргадаг. Okay, so four runners are so important. маш чухал юм аа. Couple of things came to me here before. За надад надад одоо хитэн зүйл аваад. Jesus said Matthew 4 follow me. Jesus Matthew төрөв дээр намаар даг гэж хэлэв. He said I will make you fishes of men. Би таамрыг хүмүүсийн зарц чинь болох юм. We think evangelism. Тэгсэн чинь бид нэр үнийг сайн мэдээд хаалт одоо алдагдсан хүмүүсийг буцааж авчих гэж Jesus was thinking differently. Jesus had no өөр юм бодож байгаа. He was thinking you are the first four. Та нар бол ихний дөрөв and I will make you fishes of men so the four will be more than four. Би таамрыг хүмүүсийн зарц чинь болох нь гэдэг чинь тэр дөрөв чинь өөрсдөө дахиад үржигтэй хэлчих. You are the salt of the earth. Та нар бол газар дэлхийн даас. Somebody will taste this. Энэ юу гэсэн үг ихэр хин нэгнэн тэр дамсыг ч амтална гэсэн. So there is somebody after you. Тэр чиний араас хин нэгэн байна. Чиний дараа хин нэгэн байна. That's why God asks where are you? Та хаан юм? Because I can see people after you. Яг тэр би чиний арт байгаа хүмүүсийг харж ирэв. When he said you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. Та нар бол газрын давс дэлхийн гэрэл гэж хэлсэн байна. No do people light a lamp and put it on a basket but understand and it gives light to all in the house. All in the house. Тэр нэг нэг хүмүүс гэрлийг асаагаад тэ ширин дээр тавьдаг үстэй. Тэгээд тэр өрөөн дотор байгаа бүх хүн тэр гэрлийг хардгаа гэж байна. House in Jewish terminology is family. Me and my house we will serve the Lord. Одоо гэр гэдэг үг байна шүү дээ. Гэр гэдэг үг чинь еврейгээр нөө энэ орчуулгын болон гэр бүл гэдэг утга санагдаж За тэгэхээр цоглол одоо семинар эхлэхээс өмнө надад орж ирсэн. God is seeing people after you. Тэр бурхан таны арт байгаа хүмүүсийг хараад. He's even seeing people after those who are after you. Таны арт байгаа хүмүүсийн арт байгаа хүмүүсийг хараад. That's why who are you? Where are you? Тэр шиг та хийм юм бэ? Та хааны арт байгаа юм гэдэг чинь маш их сонгодог. So we spoke about Joshua, Joshua 24. Тэр Joshua гэн тухай ярьсан. Joshua 24. Joshua had been a forerunner. Тэр багаа Joshua өмнө хөвч байсан. Even in his old age he still thought like a forerunner. Тэр хөвшөрсөн ч гэсэн дэ өмнө хөвч шиг сэтгэж боддог. We in the house we will. Би ол миний гэр эзэнд үлчлэх болно. Let our house become a forerunner house. Миний гэр энэ үндэсний өмнө хөвч гэр байх болно. Then I spoke a little bit about who are the foreigners. За тэгээд би хэд хэдэн өмнө хөвчтэй талаар товчхон ярьсан байгаа. I don't think it was a bit. I think it was quite much. Товчхонч биш юм их ярьсан байна. I mentioned some words for you. Let me just write them down. За би та нарт ишлүүдийг бичиж өгсөн байгаа. Хэлж өгсөн байгаа. One was intimacy. Do you remember? Sanjeev, you tell me when you need to go to the post office. You see, if you need to talk to her, you tell her. Your desire, desire of your heart is to become a foreigner. Here is ten years of life. You see, you are not going to be happy. God will invite you closer to Him. Because ten years of life, you are not going to be happy. You will not just send you out to do to do something. Тэр таныг шууд тийм юм хийгэж илгээх. He will call you closer so you can become. Тэр таныг өөр лүүгээ ойртуулна. Тэгснээрээ та өмнө хөвч болно. When a church is want to be a foreigner church. Бидний сүмүүд өмнө хөвч сүм болохын тулд. Which means two things. Энэ хоёр утгатай. Number one. Ихнийх нь is a place where we raise foreigners. Бид нар өмнө хөвчтэй төрүүлдэг сүм болно гэсэн. Number two. Хоёр дахь нь we can become a model for other churches. Бид босод сүмүүдэд даган дуурах загвар болно гэсэн. So pick up the example. Тэр загварыг дуурах болно. They listen to the message on the internet radio. Internet radio дээр номлыг сонсоод. They might not join you. Та нар дээр ирж энэ сүмүүд. But they might reproduce what you're doing. Гэхдээ та нар хийж байгаа зүйл их гэдэг нь сэтгэлсэн. Дэлгоныг нь тэр ДНК-ийн тэд дээр байрч авах. Тэгээд түүний дагуу амьдарч ихсэн ашиглах. Тэгвэр хэлбэрчлэгдэж ихсэн. To be moved by it. Түүгээр хөдлөгдөж ихсэн. So they only think about heaven but earth before heaven. Тэгээд зөвхөн өнхийн усыг бодлог биш харин өнхийн ус очих юм уу газар дэлхийд дээр хийх ажлуудаа бодлог болж байгаа. Walking after them on earth. Зөвхөн газар дэлхийд дээр алхах тухайгаа бодоод зөвсгөө араас минь хүмүүс алхаж байгаа юм байна гэдэг тэд нар ойлгож эхлэх болно. The next word I gave you was. За дараагийн миний өгсөн үг юу байсан бэ? High demands. Өндөр шалгуур байсан. 
This should not make us fearful. Wind bij kunnen krijgen op de eigenlijke dat we gaan. Because God does not put burden on us, we cannot carry. Wind begon bij dat daar staat voor het jou te kunnen. That's what the Bible says. He knows how much we can take. Hier bij niet hier hier ik ga je daar staat voor die mensen. We will find out that the demands are high. Ik deed er zat voor onder in bijna die type draadjes met wat na. Give you some examples from the life of Gideon. Gideon ja en dat is bij daar is die schrik. Oh my. He was really stressed. This little man in the smallest tribe had yeah. no thought about himself. Frustrated by the words of prophecy. Oh, Prophet came and spoke, nothing happened. Our grandfathers told us about Moses and Joshua, nothing happened. It worked for them, it doesn't work for us. Nothing happened. Then the angel was there. Gideon, mighty man of valor. Well, I will use you to kick out the Midianites. He went from surprise to surprise. And he felt the demands. Then he somehow adapted to the situation. Pleased with that. He was not fighting God. He was not resisting God. No. He kind of accepted it. He kind of accepted it. Then, next point on the program. Destroy the altar of your father. Whoa. No, no, no. The media lies. That's okay. But my father, I will not mess up with my father. Sometimes family is the difficult, most difficult place. <laughs> no, I will not tell that to my father. I don't have a very good relationship with him. I think I will keep low profile. The altar of my dad. No touch, no motion. That was a hiding man. Fearful, he did it. It's better to do the right thing fearfully than the wrong thing courageously. That's a pastor in London. Not even an Isaac pastor, but such a good man. Listen to him. Three times, I think. Whoa! Okay. Intimacy demands. The next one was. You have never walked this walk before. Like us yesterday in the Gobi Desert. <laughs> I'm not sure back because the baggage car had seen the social road before. It was a surprise. But we all survived. Yeah. The car survived as well. So there will be places where you are blank. You have not walked this walk before. That's the essence of being a foreigner. That's the essence of being a foreigner. That's the essence of being a foreigner. Then I gave you the last one was God will give you the strength to overcome unexpected challenges. So God gave Gideon what Gideon did not have. There are things we have. Sometimes we'll find out that certain things we don't have. But God has provided that. I grew up a timid person for 40 years. Then God began to, began to transfer courage into my life. I was pleased, my wife was pleased, my children were pleased. So God can give strength unexpected challenges. You can see that in Judges, the sixth 
Okay, can we move on? Very good. Uh, I mean, you can, as thought this morning, there are two other persons you can check in the Bible. Two women, I'm speaking both about men. Esther is one of them. Esther is one of them. Was she a forerunner? Oh my goodness. The king had decided to destroy the whole nation. Genocide. Then her stepfather Mordecai said to her, Do not think to yourself. Alright, understand that? So she was she was a Jew, so you know. God's God had blessed her. God had promoted her. She was beautiful. She lived in a wealthy place. She had a multitude of servants. She was the queen. But then Mordecai said to her, Do not think that's the whole story. There are people after you. Do not think. That's the whole story. Yeah. you being blessed. There are people after you. You know what I mean? There was a whole nation. So he said to her, If you keep silent, Esther chapter 4 verse 14, if you keep silent at this time, I mean, if you don't understand where you are, that you are a foreigner. There are people beyond you, behind you. If you keep silent here, don't stand up. Take a stand. Become conscious of your responsibility. Uh, this is me talking. Uh -huh. That's my Bible. <laughs> yeah. If you just don't take a stand. And, uh, and you are not conscious of your responsibility. Whoa. Then we live. We live and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. This unknown woman before that coming from a difficult background God promoted her, her profession, she gets into the palace and so on. Suddenly, she was placed there as a foreigner to save the whole nation from genocide. Read that book, it's a small book. Read that book. Every woman can should identify with her. Not becoming a queen. It's not about having a high level. It's about your life means something for somebody else. Let me give you another woman, Deborah. In Judges chapter 5. She was not the queen. She was not the king. <laughs> she was a prophet. And in a certain situation in the, in the history of Israel, there was hostility between nations. And the, and the king said nothing. And the kings did nothing. But Deborah rose up. And she decided, I will do this. 
And the king followed her. Was she a foreigner? Oh my, she was a foreigner. Very strong one. And you can read chapter 5. Verse 1 to 18. And when you read it, please put yourself in her shoes. Because she cries out. She cries out in that chapter 18 verses. What does she cry out for? Where are the leaders? Where are they? But I, I will stand. Same question was there. Where is Barak? Where are all the leaders? Where are all the heads of the different tribes? But she stood up. And she push her way through every challenge. The foreign. And can you see that? So can you see that? So after this week, I really hope that this foreign thing will run through your system. <laughs> Don't pick up people and say, be my follower. Don't do that. The same way you don't pick up children and say, be my child. But begin to be conscious of it. Begin to think about it. It might motivate you to remove wrong things from your life, as I said yesterday. Because if you have a difficult marriage, you can think, oh, that's not a big deal, just between my husband and me, or my wife and me, just we two, we two. But the way nobody knows, only God knows. And you are quiet. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. You can think like that. But if you listen to this, you will become conscious that no, no, it's not just us two. It's more than that. It's the neighbors, the apartment beside us. People next floor, under the floor. It's our colleagues. It's our children. It's not just you two. It's you are important. Your life is important. Your finances are important. Your finances is not just between you. In London, we teach about finances. So the young people begin to be good managers of finances. So number one, we think it's about heaven, and we realize, no, it's also about earth. And then we realize it's not only about me on earth, it's about Others as well. You know, Amen. Amen. Right. So let's move on now. So, study Esther, study Deborah. Yes. Overwhelming. Okay, the next one is Discover under resources and unknown skills. Yeah. If you look at Gideon, he didn't have much. Number one, the Midianites took everything from him. They were very faithful. <laughs> Every year he came and destroyed the house. Number two, he was just in the wine press. Number three, he was just in the wine press. 
Not only he pressed one, but he was depressed himself. <laughs> so he was very low. Emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, very low. Nothing works, nothing happens. So when the angel came to him, the battery was in the minus, not only 0% was minus. So you know, God knew that. So, God will help us to discover and resources. Unknown skills. Let me show you. Many notes. The first we discover is that now we keep that for later. In chapter eight of the Yeah, chapter no, chapter seven, sorry. Verse fifteen. I cannot retell you the whole story. Uh, read the story in chapter seven. Short resume. God said to Gideon, go to the camp of the enemy. And God is so God is so compassionate. Because God said to him, if you are afraid, then take your servant with you. God is nice. Yeah, God is nice. God is cool. God is nice. You know, you know, if you're afraid, you know, say, bring him with you. It's okay with me. God. Also in detail, small things. So here we go. Gideon and his servants and they walk in the night and came to the tents of the enemy and then they heard something, a conversation. And when he heard that, that's why we are now. Verse 15. As soon as Gideon heard the telling of the dream, and its interpretation, he worshipped. So one of the armies, enemy armies, had a dream at night mm -hmm. and told the interpretation of the dream. It was not a prophet, it was an enemy. God can, can give dreams to non-believers. Okay, you don't believe that. God can give dreams to non-believers. God can speak to non-believers. God can say to somebody, you know, you know Momo? Yeah, no more. Follow Momo. Talk with him. No, no, God told me to talk with you. What should we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will come to you and talk with you. You welcome, I know you will come to me. So let's talk. God can arrange things like that. Are you with me? We will, the coming years will be phenomenal. If we become conscious of something. So the enemy had a dream. And the enemy had the interpretation of the dream. This is not church, this is the enemy. And Gideon heard the dream. And Gideon heard the interpretation. And when he heard it, he said, Yes. We will win the battle. No worship team. No man, no chinzo, nobody. Because the spirit of worship is in our hearts. I don't know how he worshiped. But I know one thing. It had to be silent. He was in an enemy's camp. Ah, yeah, he did no, no shouting hallelujah, praise the Lord, we have victory. Otherwise, they didn't have the victory. 
So we continue. He returned to the camp of Israel and he said, Arise, for the Lord has given the host of Midian into your hand. Тэгээд Израилийн хоорон буцсан ирээд босгох том эзэн Медианы хоорон Танарын гарт өгчөө гэмээ тунхлаа. And he divided the 300 men into three companies, put trumpets into the hands of all of them and empty jars with torches inside the jars. Тэгээд тэр 300 хүний гурван бүлэгт хуваач бүх хүмүүсийн гарт эвэр бүрээ олон хоосон сав барьж савны дотор бамбар хийлгэв. And he said to them, look at me and do likewise. Гидион тэдэнд тандаад намайг хараад дөөрөж үлдэх. As the courage of a foreigner. Энэ бол өмнө хүч юм, эрт зэрэг юм. It's not arrogant. Энэ бол бартан зам биш. It's not arrogant when the parents say to the child, look at that in. Аа, эцэг юм хүүхдрүүг аавыга одоо хар, аавыга дагах гэж хэлсэн. Listen to your mother's word. Бартан зам биш. Аа, солонгоотой адил. Ээж их өгч сонс гэж хэлсэн. Бартан зам биш. That's the plan. Бартан зам биш энэ чинь төлөвлөгөө. That's God's will. Бохны хүсэл. So say do like me. Тэр начиг хий гэж намаа дөөр ара хий. When I come to the outskirts of the camp, do as I do. Би хаарангийн захад хүрээд юу үлдэн та нар мөн адил үлдэх. When I blow the trumpet. Би бүрээ үлээх. And I and all who are with me then blow the trumpets also on every side of all the camp and shout for the Lord and for Gideon. Би бол надтай хамт байж бүгд эвэр бүрээ үлээх. Та нар бас бүх хаарангийн хоорог тойрон эвэр бүрээг үлээж дуугарган эзний төлөө гидионы төлөө хэмээн хашигладах том. You can check the rest of the story. They won the battle. За түүхийг та нар үрсгүүлээд шараад хэлнэр дайнд ялдаг байгаа. But my thought is Миний бодол юу вэ гэхээр Where did he get the idea from? Тэр ин санаа таанаас олсон байна. The jar the top churches and start inside the jar. Тэр нөгөө нэг бүрээ үлээхтэй тэр хоосон самны доктор бамбар байх. Гэхдээ Unknown skills, under resources and unknown skills. Уча уул үзэгт үзэгтгүй байгаа их сурвалжууд болоод мэдгэлдээгүй чадваруудыг нэг нэг гэсэн. Resources and skills. I told you already several times in this church. За энэ сүмд би хит хэд удаа өмнө хэлсэн. I never thought I could write a book. Би хизэж ном бичсэн бичсэн гэж бодож байгаа юм. I never thought. Гэхдээ би ном бич чадхай байна гэдэг ойлгож байна. Нэгийг битсэн. And six manuals. Тэгээд зургаан жижигхэн гарын алхах. And I have five more. Одоо тавыг битчих. On the way. Unknown skills. I didn't know. Мэдгүй би ийм чадвартайгаа мэддэггүй. And you seven skills. Би ямар одоо зарим чадвараа олох. And good at science. Жишээлбэл би шинжлэх ухаан. Good at music. Хөгжмөнд сайн. I was very a bad, a bad talker. Not even, not even a bad talk. I was a non-talker. We were more yerkish, we were yer, old yerkish, you understand? And I was a very bad writer. Because I'm much more bitchy. And now I talk and write all the time. It's a little bit bad, but yerkish bitchy too much. I don't do science. At all. She's still going to do science. And I don't do music. I only listen, only listen to music. So we're going to do science too much. Move. Keep walking. Good luck. Okay. So the skills I had I don't use anymore. The skills I didn't have now I have them I use. Тэр би байсан чадваруудаа одоо ашиглахаа байгаад байх байсан чадваруудаа нэгэд ашиглаж байна. So as you begin to think of yourself as a foreigner. Тэр та өөрийгөө өмнө хөвчгээр бодоод ихэлхээр you will see certain things come to the surface. Таны ям дотор байгаа зүйлс үч ийл гарч ирэх гэж таарах. Amen. Is that good news? Сайн зэрэг юм. Good news. Ари ан дэвэ тада гу би гуд лидер. Би сайн өдөртөгч байж чадна гэж ерөөсө бодож байгаа. I thought about being a good follower. I can do something for somebody else. Би харин би маш сайн дагагч байж чадна гэж боддог. But play the first violin in the orchestra I'm not interested. Тэгээд нөгөө нэг харин оркестрт хамгийн ихний гоцлол хийх тоглол гэх юм бол би үгүй гэж хэлэх тийм юм. I'm not sure I'm a good leader but I'm doing my best. Тэр би одоо өөрийгөө лайк сайн өдөртөгч гэж хэлж чадахгүй. Гэхдээ би хамгийн сайн Actually I don't need to be a leader. Хийж байна. Ер нь бол би өдөртөгч байх шаардлагагүй биш. If I'm just a good forward, that will be good. 
зөвхөн сайн өмнө хөгч байхад л хангалттай. I think God is the leader, period. Би ер нь бурхан бол өдөрдөгч гэж бодсон. Whoever is led by the spirit is a child of God. нэгэн нь бурхны хүүхд юм So we have to really find the words like that. Тэгэхээр бид нар иймэрхүү өмнөдийг дахин тодорхойлох. He is the leader. Тэр бол өдөрдөгч. We follow. Би түүнийг дандаг. We become foreigners. Тэгээ бид нар өмнө хүүхд нар болно. That's the order of the house. За энэ бол өргөнийг имхцэх. Very simple. Маш ингээ. Okay. Next one is За дараагийнх нь We will need unknown destiny people. За бид нар мэддэггүй мэддэгдээгүй байгаа хувь тавилангийн хүмүүстэй уулзах болно. Unknown. Тийм. It shows. Бид танихгүй хувь тавилангийн хүмүүстэй уулзах болно. Одоо танихгүй байгаа, мэддэгдээгүй байгаа. Because if you walk well, in замаар сайн алах юм бол God has other people doing the same. Бурхан бас яг тантай адил халахч байгаа бурханд өөр хүмүүс байгаа. So create relationships. Тэгээд тэр харилцаануудыг ингэж бий болгох болно. Амин. We don't have to win friends. God will arrange things. Бид нар ингэж найзтай болохоор хичээ зүтгээд шаардлагатай сайн алах хичээл guidelines. Тэр заврыг даг. And God will as people he added to them daily the bible says хүмүүсийг бид нарт нэмж их болно библд дээр хэлдэгчтэй өдөр бүр тэдэн дээр хүмүүс нэмэгдэж байлаа гэж бодсон. Тэдэн нок гэд everybody's do with тэр хүмүүсийн хаалгыг очиж тогшоогүй five steps to heaven хүмүүсээ ус руу явах таван алх хүмүүсийн цаас гараад явааг бол гэв нэм пи бурхан тэдэн дээр хүмүүсийг өгсөн байхгүй so we will need unknown destiny people тэгэхээр бид нар мэддэгдээгүй байгаа хувь тавилангийн хүмүүстэйгээ уулзах болно this is what happened here too Gideon chapter 6 verse зурдлаар бүлэгтэр яг ийм зүйл болсон. The spirit of the Lord called Gideon he sounded the trumpet and the Abrazites were called out to follow him. Эдний сүнс Gideon дээр гов тэр эвэр бүрээ үлээхэд түүнийг дагахаар Abrazites цоглоо. And he sent messages to all of Manasseh they too were called out to follow him. He sent messages to Asher, Zebulun, Naphtali they went up to meet him to meet them. Гидян Манасе даяар ич нарыг илгээсэн тэд ч гэсэн түүнийг дагахаар ирцгээв. Тэр бас Ашер Сибулун болон Нафтали руу илч илгээсэн тэд ирч тэдэнтэй нэгдэв. Another example, another example I gave you previously in previous seminars is Өнөөх сенаар дээр таамшдсэн. Дэвид was alone in the wilderness. Давид сүлд ганцаараа байсан. And people came to him. Хүмүүс түүнийг ирсэн. Five here, ten there. Тэндээс таа, тэндээс арав. He could not arrange that. Тэр өөрөө энийг зохион байгуулж чадахгүй. Я тэр тэр Давид зохицож ирсэн. He came to him. Хаан хүмүүс түүнд ирсэн. God gave Gideon people. Бурхан Гидеон хүмүүсийг өгсөн. He gave him many. Олныг өгсөн бүр. 32000. 32000 хүн өгсөн. That's all right. Маш их хөө. So I've been alone in the wine press, and 32,000 guests. Tell me about this. I'm sorry, 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 God said, send 22,000, 22,000 of home. At the end, he had only 300. So that's really a challenge. Because he had nobody. And then he had a lot. And then God took everybody from him. That's a challenge. So Gideon was a roller coaster. Галцуу болгон дээр суцсан юм шиг. It was not the devil, it was God. Дэвэл түүнийг галцуу болгон дээр суулгаг бохон шиг. Түүнийг хэлбэрчүүлэх юм бол. Make him a fearless person. Түүнийг айдсгүй хүн болох юм бол. Because he's a foreigner. Яа тэгэхээр тийм чи өмнө бүгд. And the fearlessness should be transferred to the next generation. Тэгээд түүний айдсгүй байдал нь дараагийн үеийнх нь бас дамжих хэвээр. This afternoon I checked the next generation. За өнөөрөө би нөгөө дараагийн үе гэдгийг шалгасан байгаа. They didn't do well. А дараагийн үе яасан бэ гэдэг уншсан чи сайн байгаагүй. You know how many children he had? Тэр хэдэн хүмүүстэй сэтэ мэдхгүй. 
I didn't know either. I didn't remember. Seventy. Seventy. Seven zero. Ma. What about that? <laughs> Seventy children because he had many wives. That's why. Seventy children. <laughs> Can he hold the woman? <laughs> Seventy children. Did you want? None of them. None of them. So God had to raise another after Gideon. So he had a good legacy, he had a good follower company. But he didn't do well. Oh wait. Now, what time is it? 7.30? Okay, let's have a break now. Because next morning is a big one. So what do we say? 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Because that's a good example for your children. And if you are become a forerunner, you set a standard for the rest. No, before we start, yes, no, the day before yesterday I spoke about John and David, how we wrote to me. Afterwards, I thought maybe I gave you a wrong impression of him. He said, hard man, be there, and first session, last session. It's not the case, it's a very kind person. Talking his words, words his spirit. You meet him face to face, very kind. Very kind. At that time, I didn't understand the point. Now I understand the point. Point number one was that when first session starts, it starts 100%. That's why we have to be there from the beginning. But we grew up in a Christian environment where we never started 100%. There was a lot of, of, of warming up. Breathe the next person, high five. Are you happy this morning? <laughs> How many from UB, how many from the how many from the how many from the All that, we were used to that. So my wife and I, with four small white kids, we didn't show up to that. We didn't show up for that. We came to the second session, because now we are talking stuff. But in one is different. Starts 100%. Open your Bible. <laughs> in the last minute, exactly the same. I was there for five weeks. From morning to evening. We break through worship every night. Five weeks. The last day, it is faster than the first day. The last 15 minutes, he gave all his notes. <laughs> when you see that pattern, you understand why the first minute is important and the last minute is important. And it's easy to align. I will be there. The second thought is, he expects me to become the forerunner for somebody else. So, good habits, good standards. Okay. So, don't think he's a harsh man, you'll be there. It's a very good lifestyle. Okay. Did you have all this on your notes? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Everybody says yes. Because now we move on. I need space. Alright. The next one goes like this. Foreigners 
have God-given partners. Partners are different from followers. Followers can follow me, for example, and learn from me and pay attention. And Seek advice. But a partner is a co-worker. It's not only learning something and listening, which is good. The partner is working on the same assignment. Or a similar assignment. So we need God-given partners. Because some assignments are designed for individuals. What I'm doing tonight, I have to do. It will be unfair to ask you to do that. The same time, if God asks you to do something, you do it. So some assignments are individual assignments. But some assignments are too big. Too big, too difficult. Too complex, complicated. It, it, more than one grace will be needed. Several, several graces must flow together, join together, and pull together. Uh -huh. yeah. Once I had a message here about the kingdom of God is unbreakable and directable. And the unbreakable issue, I gave you an example from a verse from Ecclesiastes. Where the Bible says, a threefold cord can, it cannot easily be broken. I want to repeat the message, but we give you the essence. Number one, the rope is not a rope for decoration. To lay on the floor. The rope is meant to pull a heavy weight. And to pull that heavy weight, one cord is not enough. That's why threefold cord cannot easily be broken. It can still be broken. Uh -huh. Because the weight is so heavy. The assignment is so impressive and so overwhelming. But then the wise Solomon said, it will take more than one grace. You need at least three graces. But it can still break, so you might need more. So, yeah, so the conclusion is a threefold cord or rope cannot easily be broken. So it means some, it means some assignments must be several people joining together, pushing together. And and I will give you an example which is so clear and so powerful that hopefully it will be clear for the rest of your life. Certain things you can do alone, certain things it's out of reach. Don't do it alone. You will break your neck. Or temptations will be too, certain temptations will be too big. And you will not fulfill. Don't blame God. 
Blame your lack of understanding. So let me give you this example from the Bible. Okay. the details here. It's about Elijah. Now we go to the red. Now it's serious, it's in red. Okay. So before Elijah came, this is Elijah, God's prophet. I also mentioned for you, we don't know where he come from, where he come, came from. Just a king on the scene. But he has been walking with God for a while. Actually, he even says himself, I've been standing before God. I'm talking with him on a regular basis. He's training me, shaping me. He removes wrongness from my life. Because there is an assignment God has for me. And that assignment was an individual assignment. So he stood up in 1 Kings 17. And he spoke out. No rain, no dew. No rain, no dew, until I give the authorization. And then the land went in chaos because of the lack of water. But God sustained him. Because God sustains four weathers. He knows the high demands of the man. He knows they will have to dug under resources. So he sustained the man. He sustained Elijah. And Elijah spoke to the king, Ahab. And Ahab had been the king for a while. And he had a wonderful wife, the witch. I didn't say witch, I said witch. She married to Jezebel. Jezebel was an idol worshipper. So this marriage was an unholy alliance. She was connected to demonic sources. Which means that these sources had access to their home. Because because she was married to him. And because he was the king, these sources went through her, to him, through him, to the whole nation, because he was the king. God saw that. And I can imagine what was on his heart. I have to destroy that. There is no other way. No compromise, no peace treaty. No negotiation. I just have to destroy that whole thing. On the top of that, she had an alliance. She had an alliance. Eight hundred and eighty false prophets. So this this is a whole uh, what's the name for that? Um, it's a whole system. Connected together in a wrong way. Very tight. Because she was very influential to her husband, to the false prophets. The false prophets influenced her. 
Тэгээд хуурамч ишүүлүүлэх шиг бас түүнд нөлөөлдөг. Force guidance. Хуурамч зөвлөгөө нь үү? Заарчлаа гэдэг. The situation is absolutely contaminated. Тийм, ингээд бүртгэлчлэхтэй бохирдсон. And in the middle of that, in бүхний дунд, that one man, нэг хүн, Rose, босоод ирсэн. Elijah. Илия. All of that is in first king. За хаад энэ дэд дээр байгаа. Okay. So the nation is not doing well. There is a drought. Everything is dry. За бүх гаган болсон бүх зүйл хатсан байсан үндэстэн бол хүнд байдал байсан. Elijah is in the picture. Илия гарч ирж байгаа. Jezebel is in the picture. Jezebel гэж байна. Ahab her husband is also in the picture. Ahab байдал. And the famine came also because no rain, no food, no food famine. Бороо байхгүй байсан учраас хоол хүнс урахгүй байсан. Тэгээд үсэглэн болсон баг. So there was a phone Elijah. За тэр Илия гэдэг өмнө бүгч байсан. And he challenged the situation. Тэгээд тэр энэ нөхцөл байдал with what? Сорилтыг авчирч байгаа. With words. Үгээрээ. Okay? But there was another one. Another phone. Бас нэг өмнө бүгч байсан. And his name is Obadiah. Obadiah. So another one here. Obadiah. Obadiah. You have him? Chapter 18, verse 3. And Obadiah was set over the household of the king. So God had a man inside the house here. Okay. He was working for Ahab. Ahab is the leader. He was the governor of the whole household. Tushmil is ma. Maybe the governor of the whole palace. The army tushmil is ma. The army, the administration, everything. Mhm. And he had this man coming from outside. That the Qatnas ni kumbesan fir. Challenging. Ilia. The system. That the Ilia is asking fir is system which whom to challenge. So God has somebody inside the system. And he has somebody outside the system. Тэгэхээр бурхан дээр шүү дээ систем доктор нэг хүн байсан, системийн гадна бас нэг хүн байсан. God is a strategist. Бурхан стратегч шүү дээ. Amen. So that's why we can trust him. Тийм учраас би түүнд найдаж байгаа. Can always trust things. Тэр бүх юмыг ингээд найдаж байгаа. Хөшөгний цаана найруулдаг. Amen. Nobody knew Obadiah was there, nobody knew Elijah was there, suddenly they are in. Илия тэнд байгаа хинч мэдээгүй байсан, Обадиа тэнд байгаа хинч мэдээгүй байсан. What is inside? The one is outside. Бүх юм гадна байсан. And when I have begin to misbehave seriously. Aha, not the Turkish language. This is what Obadiah did. Obadiah is in there. He took hundred prophets and hid them by fifties in two caves. Тэр зон ишүүлэгчийг авч тав тавар наагуд нугаа тэдэнд талхус хангаа өгч байлаа. So Obadiah contacted what did I say? Hundred. One hundred, and he put fifty prophets in one cave. Тэр апат я зон ишүүлэх чигаад нэг агуд тавиг хийгээд. It was bigger than the cave we saw yesterday. Учигдар харсан агуд наслаа том агуд наслаа том агуд. We space for two years. Тэр хоёр хоо хүн яаг. Only one prophet. Зүхүн нэг ишүүлэх чиг ба. But he put fifty prophets in one cave. За тэр нэг агуд тавиг ишүүлэх чиг. Өөр нэг агуд дахиад тавиг ишүүлэх чиг. Because he had access to the king's house. Тэр тэр хааны өргөөд өргөөд доктор ажилтдаг болсон. He could provide for food. Хоол хүн сэр тэдэр хангах чиг. So he Alone. Тэр тэр ганцаараа. By himself. Өөрө. Where did he get the idea from? Энэ санаа хаанаас олж байгаа? We don't know. Мэдэхгүй. God works behind the scene. Бурхан тэр үзэгдлийн цаана ажил. So this man decided, I will, so I will help 50 and 50 survive this. Тэр энэ хүнд шийдсэн маа. За би энэ 100 их шивзүүлэгчийг өсөлхөнгөөс аварнаа гэж хийсэн баг. This is not just a detail. So now God has one man inside the system, one man outside the system, and two companies of 50 prophets in two caves. So God is building up his system. System in doctor Miguel, system in Captain Miguel, higher about tap tap era of Watson, so much to do this job. Why? Yeah. Because this assignment is too big for one man. Why? Because he must be built up to get here. In total, no one, no one, no one, no one, he can't catch this. There are things in the future that to be for me. Many of the things that he he didn't do to me. To be for you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it is. 
ивэл байдаг. Okay, but if you win over heaven, then it's okay. Тэгтээ та мөнхий улс та мөрөөдөд л байлаа. Яа гэхдээ мөнхий улс руугаа яваарай. Okay, so we have this situation here. За тэгэхээр энд нөхцөл байдал юм бай. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, so we have this situation. За энд нөхцөл байдал. So now something has to happen. За одоо нэг зүйл болох хэвээр and uh, Elijah moves. Илья хөдөлсөн. He makes a move. Тэр ихэлсэн ба. Хөдөлгөөн их. So he challenges Ahab. Тэр Ахабыг одоо. And the first prophet of Jezebel. Ахаб болон Исабелийн хуурамч их хөдөлгөөлөгчтэй тэр Mount Carmel. Remember the story? Carmel болон дээр Carmel Mount. Carmel. Carmel болон дээр дуудсан ба. Not Carmel, but Carmel. Carmel is in Gobi Desert. Carmel is Carmel. On Mount Carmel. Carmel болон дээр He challenged the prophets. Ish үзүүлэгчтэй тийм. Make a long story short. За түүхийг тавчлаа. They bring an altar, they bring an offering. За тэд нар үргэлж авчирсан байгаа. They ask fire to fall from heaven. Тэгээ тэнгэрээс гал буухыг гойсон. Nothing happens. Юу ч болоогүй. Then Elijah said. Тэгээ Илья хэлсэн. Who some water I need because you know. Тэ над усаар нь орчих. He said so your heart is, your God is not listening. Тэгээ тэр бохон сонсохгүй байгаа дүлийн юм байлгүй. So he really pushes them. Тэгээд үнэхээр тэтрийг өдөө хатгаж байгаа. Maybe you should shout a little bit louder. Та нар арай чанга хашиг хэм уу гэл. Okay. End of story. Then it's his turn. Тэгээд түүний ээлж ирдэг. Илья ээлж ирдэг. Five to four and five. Тэгээд бохноос гал гойдог. Falls from heaven. Тэгээд тэнгэрээс гал гойж ирдэг. After that the prophets are killed. За үүний дараа шүтүүлэгч нар алалдаг. Am I right? Зөв бэстэй тийм. Yeah. Excellent. So Elijah made a strong move. Илия үнэхээр далацдаг хөдөлсөн баг. But there was more to the story. Гэхдээ энэ түүх ингээд дуусчих юм шиг зүгээр байна. The process is just removing the source. Тэр зөвхөн тэр шүтүүлэгчдийг зогсоогол дуусчих юм бол зөвхөн их сурвалж нь устарч байна гэсэн. The system was still operating. System нь тийч ажилласан хэвээрээ л. So God had to find more. Тэр бурхан илүү хийх хэрэгтэй гэсэн. Now Elijah, Elia, even though he saw the fire, Elia гал болгосон ч гэсэн. He saw God's supernatural intervention. Бурхан юу бүсийн хэмжүүрээр ажиллаж байгааг тэр хаалсан. Four prophets were destroyed. Хуурамч шүтүүлэгч нар устгагдсан байгаа. But then, тэгээд something happened. Нэг юм болсон. This woman, энэ эмхтэй wrote a letter. Захиа авчсан. Dear Elijah, Elia, хүндэт Elia. I will kill you. Би чамайг алах болно. Watch me. Намаг хараарай гэсэн. I will find you. Харж байгаа би чамайг олоод dead man. Олсон тэр өдөр чи өгөхгүй юм бол тэр мэдчихсэн. The source of the problem. Тэр асуудлын их сурвалжийг тэр мэдчихсэн. As well her has husband called Elijah the troublemaker. Тийм учраас түүний нөхөр нь Илияг зовлон авчирч ирсэн. He was so right. Үнэхээр тэр зөв нь ирсэн. He was a troublemaker. Илия үнэхээр зовлон авчирч ирсэн. He made a lot of trouble. Маш их асуудлыг ингэж ирсэн. And this system totally collapses. Энэ систем бүрэн гүц нурсан байхын тулд Илия маш их асуудал авчирсан. But what happens is за юу болсон гэхлээр that the same man who killed 850 prophets. 850 их шүтүүлэгчийг авсан тэр хүн fire down from heaven. Тэнгэрээс гал дуудсан тэр хүн. So the fire. Галыг харсан. When he reads that letter. Тэр хүн энэ захидлыг уншаад. He quits. Тэгэд бууж гисэн. Гарсан. Take you home. Бигтэй хайр. God kill him. Бурхан минь намайг алаач гисэн. The lady want to kill him. Isabel түүнийг алмаар өссөн. She prefer you kill me. Тэгэ Isabel тийг гарт өгснөөс таны гарт өгхиа гисэн. It's better to be killed by you than by that that which is him. Шулмын гарт өгснөөс таны гарт өгмөр байна гисэн. So he went to Mount is it Horeb? Mount Horeb? Horeb was there also. Went to Mount Horeb. You see Elijah there. <laughs> Not very happy. That's just a very dark cloud over him. Depression. Depression dark too. Had a lot of horror thoughts. And uh, now you have this man, depressed man, suicidal man. За бүр амиа хорлох гээд бүр юм тийм систем is in very strong and very brutal. Тийм байтал систем нөгөө талд маш хүчирхэг дээрээс нь маш харис хэрцгий юм. The whole system is chasing him. Энэ систем бүхлээрээ одоо илийг мөшөгч байгаа хэрэг. 
So that's serious. The Elijah is a foreigner. God knows him. So God does not kill him. What is the solution? The only solution is supply partners. Not fire him. Not taking home to heaven. Elijah, you did well. But the next season, it's too big for you. You're going to do that. But I have partners for you. Obadiah is one. Then there are a hundred prophets with a full stomach, <laughs> <laughs> fit for fight, with a train in the cave. Yeah. So he had a hundred prophets. Alright? Mm -hmm. Who more? The head him be. First king. First king, 18. No, 19, so 19. God spoke to him on Mount Horeb. And in verse 15. And the Lord said to him, Go. So you're still a foreigner. Keep walking. Soldier. That's the song of Tobin. Move, keep walking, so keep moving on. So go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive there, you shall announce Hasel, you shall anoint Jehu, you shall anoint Elisha. And in verse 18, I will be 7,000 men. Israel, no, not 7,000 men, 7,000 men and women in Israel. But it just, it's not just 7,000 people. It's 7,000 people whose knees have not bowed. So they have been living in this system, but not under the system. The same Jesus said, he said, you are in the world, but you are not part of the world. So Elijah survived, Obadiah survived, the hundred prophets survived, and there were 7,000 anonymous people, anonymous, nobody knew them. Elijah didn't know them. Nobody knew them. I believe there are more people in Yunnan, Bata, and Mongolia who are ready for this. But there must be a signal coming from somewhere. There must be somebody and when they see that, when they hear that, they will join in. Because they will see somebody who have not bowed their knees for bow. They will see a young man of 17 years old. A young woman of 28. An old woman of 67. That's not old, that's young, I'm 71. <laughs> <laughs> there we see, whoa, these people, they have not bowed their knees for the system. And they had not kissed bowed. I don't know what that means. <laughs> One day God will show us what it is. But there were 7,000 people. And they were ready to have a forerunner. Why don't we hear them about them here? 
Яагаад бид нэр энд тэдний талаар сонсоог юм бэ? Because there had not been a foreigner. Тэд нар өөрсдөө өмнө хөгч болоо. When the foreigner came into place. Аа, тэдэнд өмнө хөгч байх байсан баггүй. Then you. Yo, that's the one. Өмнө хөгч гараад ирэнгүү тэд нар гараад ирчих. We know that's good. Өмнө хөгч гарч ирэнгүү эсвэл учраас тэд нарын талаар ярьдаг байсан. Илия сайн байгаагүй ч гэсэн дээ. Still his spirit was strong. Түүний сүнс нь хүчтэй байсан тэр айсан байсан гэсэн дээ. That's why we need four winners. Тийм учраас бид нарт өмнө хөгч нар хэрэгтэй. You can ask where are you? They were there. So it's waiting for him. Тэр өмнө хөгч нь хаа нарна. Яг тэгэхээр түүнийг дагагч нар нь бэлэн болчоод хүлээдэд байна шүү дээ. That's why God came to Mount Horeb and said Elijah, what are you doing here? Тийм учраас бурхан хориг болон дээр очиод Илия чи чи нана юу хийж байгаа юм бэ? In other words, where are you? Тэр хаа нарна гэж асууж. Because I have 7000 Тэгтээ I have Elisha somewhere. I'm just waiting for you to come into order. In 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 direction to stand up and be conscious. I'm not just Elisha. That's why he's so happy. He got me home. But we have understood that heaven is safe, is secure. Тэгтээ мөнхийн ус бол бидний хувьд баталгаатай гэдэг нь тийш хэрэг. Хоёр дахь бол бид нар бурхантай амьдрахын хэрэгтэй. Number 3, after us, Absolutely unusual. Speak in the face of the king. Control nature, the weather. Kill 850 horses. Get fire to fall down from heaven. Why yeah. I want to be part of an Elijah generation. He was missing one important thing. Тэр нэг зүйлийг нэг чухал зүйлийг алдаг. Мөнхий ус баталгаатай. Walk with God the Lord yes before. Өмн хин жалхаж байгаагүйгээр алхаж байсан. Гэхдээ тэр юу мартсан? There was one more issue in the kingdom. Хаанчлаа дахиад нэг асуудал байгаа юм мартсан. Is the sentence. Үр удаа. Үр удаа. Үр удаа. So when he wants to go to heaven, God says, "No." Тэр тэр мөнхий ус руу явахыг хүссэн харин үгүй гэж хэлсэн. I have everything is set up for you. Бүх зүйлийг би чиний төлөө тохируулчихсан байгаа шүү дээ. I have a prophet. Зөв шүү зүйлэгч байна. Stomach full, full of joy, full of peace. Амар тавин баяр хөөртөө гизэн цахлаа. Just waiting for the day to so can they can begin to prophesy. Ишүү зүйлэг тэр өдрөө хүлээгээд байж байгаа. The downfall of Jezebel. Исабелийг болох тэр өдрийг хүлээгээд байгаа. Аа хубадаа я. Надаа Обад яа. Хасэн. Тэднээс олон хүн байсан гэдэг та мэдэх үү? Тэднээс илүү олон хүн байсан гэдэг. I thought, whoa, yeah, that's the that's the people we know. Obadaya, we might not know him. За Обадия гэдэг талаар сайн мэдэх хэрэгтэй. Гэхдээ тэр чухал хүмүүс юм байсан. But we so full of Elijah five from heaven and whoa. Тэгээ тэгээс бид нар энэ хэрэг. We love spectacular. Илхийн ярьж бид нар шүтээд идэжтэй гал мал болгосон гэдэг. Obadaya was not very spectacular. Обадия болохоор тийм янз бүрийн Гоё хийгээд үү? He was inside the system. Гэтэ тэр системийн дотор байсан. The spy. Тагналч. He knew everything. He was the governor. Бүх зүйлийг мэддэг байсан тэр засаглагч байсан. In a way maybe he was more important, more strategically important. Магадгүй тэр стратегийн хувьд илүү чухал нэгэн байсан баг. 
So don't think only you got fire from heaven. You know, charismatic circles, we love that. It's a song of Holy Spirit fireworks. Maybe we should think a little bit more than that. What about having the right person in the right place? That challenges me more than fire from heaven. That's my grace. In mini generation. <laughs> Everybody want to be Joshua Caleb. Is an important man in the right place in, inside the system. Systeming doctor, yet best to get the best in Chopperton. I love that. So he was a very strategic person. Strategic Chopperton. There were more people than that. Chapter 20. Her talk was Verse 13. There was a war coming along. And in verse 13, the Bible says, Behold, the prophet came near to Ahab, king of Israel. Maybe he's the one who has been waiting in the cave. Eating mutton and drinking tea. Two days ago, I discovered something new. In the West, we drink tea. Ma eats tea. There is rice and meat. And we drink tea. So maybe these hundred prophets, they were, they were ready. In some issues, you should hear this. They were prophets. She did issue to the shinrest. But they are provided for. A party of picnic hacks and bar. Teaches him. Maybe there are some of the day here. In Margot, a party and a bar. You provide for somebody else. He need me to take the room. That's all Obadiah did. A party of him, let's see. He said, being inside the system. Tomorrow I will show you something from the New Testament which will blow your mind. So be there tomorrow. God is a strategic orchestrator. And I, I really mean it. You have to be here tomorrow. If you can't, you can't. It's okay. Sure. Take the YouTube video. So here a, a prophet comes to Ahab. Thus says the Lord. Have you seen all this great multitude? Behold, I will give it into your hand this day, and you shall know that I am the Lord. It's Verse 13 in 20, chapter 20. Verse 13. Because Ahab is the king of Israel. He's not the king of Egypt or uh -huh. Egypt, Japan or king of Israel. God's people. And God, of course, he is contaminated by Jezebel. Uh, let me make a footnote here. Because I heard a lot preaching about the spirit of Jezebel. Very wrong preaching. Because it has equaled the spirit of Jezebel with woman. Saying like, this is the way women are. They manipulate like she did with Ahab. And it has created so much damage in the church. So for decades, good women in the church have been afraid of having the spirit of Jezebel. Because they are 
God needs strong women. Are you here? I say God needs strong women. There is an order in marriage in the country. It doesn't mean that the woman is a servant of the house. She is the queen of the house. Represent heaven. Amen. Yeah. So Jezebel that Jezebel don't listen to it. Until you know what it is about. It's a spirit, it's not a woman, it's a spirit. Behind her, behind her there are 850 men. What about that? They fed her. So Jezebel is not a woman issue. So, I close the footnote. Because I, I hear it regularly. Oh, spirit of Jezebel. Yeah, especially the pastors. The pastor's wife is manipulating her husband. Because Ahab was the king. That corresponds to the pastor. Jezebel is the pastor's wife. Pastor said it was a pastor. Jezebel is the pastor's wife. Jezebel is the pastor's wife. Through anybody. Because it's a spirit, it's not a gender thing. All the women are more manipulative than men. Okay, let's address that one. Maybe they are, if they are. And if they are, it might be because the man is dominating. So faced with domination, manipulation is used. And it's still not a woman thing. You can be in a company between two men. The boss and the men under the boss. If the boss is dominating, that man will try to manipulate. Because if you are dominating, you have only one way to influence it, to find ways of... So it's not a gender thing, it's a human thing. It's flesh. When, when flesh dominates, flesh will manipulate. Welcome to a horrible game. So, end of my footnote. So God came to Ahab through a prophet and said, Have you seen the great multitude? So Ahab is not hopeless. God tries. So I will give this multitude into your hand, Ahab. So you shall know that I am the Lord. Elijah came to you, it didn't work. He killed 850 false prophets, didn't work. He called fire from heaven, it didn't work. Okay. Let's try another one. With multitude, I will give the victory. Oh, are you still with me? 14. And I have said, by whom? Extremely intelligent question. <laughs> God, I have, I have God. I will give it to you. By whom? <laughs> Who is this? 
you and me, I give, you receive, you, me, me, you, to you. That's what happens when people don't understand their foreignness. A king is a foreigner for whole nation. God could have said, where are you at? You have been the king through all these years. You are not a foreigner. You follow your witch. Who follows 850 false prophets. So where are you? You are my king for my people. So now we we'll help you. Then. God said. Uh, this says the Lord. By the servants of the governors of the districts. I will come back to that later. Then he said, Who shall begin the battle? Intelligent question number two. <laughs> this man is really a genius. <laughs> I have to find my notes from England, from FGC. Okay, I think I can remember that. So God said, I will give it to you. And he said, who will start? If he was conscious of his role as a forerunner, it's, it's as complicated as one plus one is two. No. You, Tarzan, me, Jane. No. <laughs> you, the forerunner, who will go for? for <laughs> Before the battle. I am heaven, you are on earth. I will give you the multitude. Who starts the battle? <laughs> Where are you? You understand the question? Then you say, Who shall begin the battle? And God answered, You. You. Then he mustered the servants of the governors of the districts, and there were 232. Uh -huh. And after them, he mustered all the people of Israel, 7,000. So, there is more. To the company of partners. There are 200. Uh, people. Interesting. I mean, I've seen that many times. It has never attracted me or challenged 200, not 231. 233, 232. So precise. I'm not into biblical numbers. Seven for that, five stands for that. Six, six, six for that. Keep me out of that. So I'm not interested in the number, the figure, 233. I am interested in who are these 233? So I checked other translations. And I found something very You want to know? I will tell you tonight. <laughs> These 232, which are called here the servants of the governors of the districts. They were young leaders mm -hmm. trained to be governors 
тэд байж дээ тэ засаглагч нар захирагч байхаар сургалдаж байсан залуу хүмүүс байсан. Or a kind of young princess. Тэ бүгдээрээ залуу хүнтайч нар байсан гэсэн. Well trained. Маш сайн сургалцсан. Not on highest position but somewhere as a prince, not a king but princess. Тэ өндөр албан тушаал хараахан очоогүй гэхдээ тэнд очихоор сургалдаж байсан So they were young leaders in the process of training. They were serving the governors. Whoa, when I saw that, my goodness, I, I had to write to somebody. I could not keep it for myself. It was such a discovery. For the following reason. For the following reason, I've been asking myself for four, four or five years. I had a dilemma in my head. The dilemma, the dilemma goes like this. In God, in Christ, in the kingdom, age means nothing. Right? God is the And Jesus went into public ministry when he was 30. Why not 18 or 25 or 30? And work only three years. And disappear. So has no meaning in heaven. There is no time. Тэнгэрийн усад мөнхөн усад бол ямар цаг хугацаа байх вэ? Цаг хугацааны хязгаар гэж байна. Then last five years. За гэтэл youth conferences. Бид нэр энэ залуучуудын конференц хийж байгаа цаг. Now church we have a youth ministry and a youth group. За манай сүмд бол залуучуудын бүлэг залуучуудын үйлчлэл хийж байна. Some churches they have a children ministry. Зарим сүмүүдэд хүүхдийн үйлчлэл хийж байна. We don't. Бид манад байхгүй. We never have. Because I told the parents, the children are not my responsibility. Then people left the church. Yes, we have. It's you. You made them. 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 When we become young people, they're on the way to adults, then we can begin to... Yeah. So, so I had this dilemma in my head. In the kingdom, there is nothing like age. Joshua, the old man, just maybe a few hours before he died, he said, me and my house will serve the Lord. Yeah, he's going to heaven. Joshua. <laughs> So no age. When Joshua and Caleb entered the country, they were 85, something like that. 85. And Caleb said, I am as fresh and strong as when I was a young man. So, one issue is age means nothing. The other issue is age means something. That's why we have youth ministry, youth conferences. I had this. Oh my. Why should I Until I saw that. Then I knew. There is something with young people, which is more than just age. So look at this. That is the key. What do we have here? Then we look at this. What do we have here? What do we have here? Don't forget Elijah. He's still alive. 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 Don't forget Elijah. So God knew this assignment is too big for one. So God rose a whole alliance of people. So look at them. What, who did he raise? Who did God raise? Elijah. That's the prophet. 
Elisha. Elisha. That's a prophet. Was ist schon zuletzt? The hundred. So ist schon zuletzt. They were prophets. Ist schon zuletzt schon erst. So I believe God needs prophetic people. Die Prophet ist schon zuletzt schon muss hier richtig richtig wichtig sein. Amen. Are you saying to me? Yes. Every member in the church. So many Christians are there. There's no need to be a prophet. Ist schon zuletzt schon erst erst. But you must be prophetic. Ist schon zuletzt schon erst erst erst. You must have insight in certain things. You must know the seasons in your life. You must know what is the focus of God here at the end of 2019 in your life. What is his focus? You must know. Otherwise, maybe, maybe you sow seed in the winter. Тэгэхгүй мэдгүй бол та өвлийн улиралд өөр тарьж. The soil is hard. Тэгээ газар нь хатуу байна. Kills the seed. Үрийг устгана. And when the harvest time comes. Тэгээ дурах цураг цаг ирэхэд God of heaven and earth, where is my harvest? Тэнгэр газрын бурх минь миний урах цаг байна. You don't know the seasons. Та улиралаа таныг байгаах. Because there is a season to sow. Тарих улиралд хийж байна. There is a season to water. Услах улиралд хийж байна. There is a season to do nothing. Юу ч хийхгүй байх улиралд. Тэр байгаль чинь өөр ажил ч үсэж байгаа. And there is a season to harvest. Тэгэд ургац хураах хэрэг гэж байна. So we need the church to become prophetic. Тэр бидний сүмүүд ийм ишүү зүйлхийг ойлгодог болох хэрэгтэй. So you follow the season. Ишүү зүйлхийг ойлгодтой байх хэрэгтэй. If there is a season of more intensive prayer, please go ahead. Ирчтэй зайлбарх үйлдэл таны амьдрал байгаа бол та тэр тийшээ шууд орох хэрэгтэй. There is a season when God says dig deeper in the Bible. That's the season. Бурхан тань одоо чи Библиэ гүн ухаа гэх юм бол та тэрийг ухах хэрэгтэй. Тэр таны хийх хэрэгтэй ажил. That's what God said to me in January. Нэг сард бурхан надад хийж байсан. You must dig deeper. Чи гүн ухах хэрэгтэй учирсэн. Everywhere go I tell people. Хаа яваа газартаа би хүмүүс хэлдэг. Do like me. Дичих хэгээр. Let's go deeper. Бүгдээ гүн ухах. There's so much here. In Mashiach too. So much here. Mashiach in there. Everything we need is is there. Peter, hear it. Be quiet in there. Not always explicitly, but sometimes hidden between words. But if we should take the time to know it, must touch it. So God needs prophets. That here, for whom the church is needed. God needs a prophetic church. For whom the church is needed. Now what do we have? We have Hazael. So after Peter, Hazael. We have Jehu. Jehu and. They were kings. That Peter was hard. Now we don't have kings. But Peter is hard. The kings were key people in the nation. That here. Хаад гэдэг нь бол үндэснүүдэд байгаа төлөвлөгөө хүмүүс юм. We need key people in the church. Сүмд бид нар төлөвлөгөө хүмүүс хэрэгтэй. I say we need key people in the church. Сүмд бид нар төлөвлөгөө хүмүүс хэрэгтэй. Not everybody is a key person. Хүн болгон төлөвлөгөө хүмүүс шиг. But everybody should become a key person. Хэр хүн болгон төлөвлөгөө хүн болох ёстой. Because when God sends a lot of unsaved people. Яагаад гэхэд бурхан маш олон аргадаг хүмүүсийг илгээх. You have only three key people in the church. Зөвхөн сүм доктор зөвхөн гурав хүн төлөвлөгөө хүн байх. They will die of High blood pressure. And even the bees of Puja will not help. Puja, but we need to reach to such a point. Too much work. Too much work. Too much work. Too much. Your heart is so bad. Even my bees cannot help you anymore. That's why we need key people. 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 Оролцдог хүмүүс, энд байдаг хүмүүс. People who are investing also their finances. Санхүүгээ ийш оролцдог хүмүүс. People who are good examples for others. Бусдад сайн үлгэр чишээ үзүүлдог хүмүүс. So we don't have all the time to say, have a problem, talk with the pastor. Тэм учраас бидар үргэлж жил, асуулт байна, пастор дээр учраас бидар. You have a problem? Асуулт байна, асуулт байна. Find me. Надтай. Make an appointment with Yesui. Yesui. What? What? She's too. Юсүүтэй юу хорхон настай гэсэн. Тэгээд хортэр. How much experience does she has? Тэр чинь одоо туршлага мурчлага нэг байхгүй шүү дээ. 20 years of experience? 20 жилийн туршлагатай л байхгүй. And a serious work with God. Тэгээд бурхантай үнэхээр нууцтай алхдаг. Is that okay with you? Энэ танд зүгээр үү? Serious work with God? Yes. Бурхантай нууцтай алхдаг. Okay, we're going to with her. Болно, за тэгвэл ерсүүтэй цаг аваад байна. Let us we talk with somebody, somebody else if she doesn't know what to say. Тэрвээ тэр юу хэлэхээ мэдэхгүй бол өөр хэн нэг энэ очиж байгаа. You want to do that? Би ингэж хийсэн. Because for Christmas in the church where I had for a while. 
за бидрийн тусалж байсан хэсэг доор тусалж байсан сүм Christmas зуус сарал гэв flowers to every people older than 70 years old зуус сар болох тэд нар далаас дээш насны бүхэн цэцэг өгдөг гэнэ so today we qualify for christmas flowers өнөөдөр би christmasын билэг авахад одоо normally the pastors pastor does that за ер нь бол пасторууд мэддэг so pastor said to me feel it you are assisting me for a while за тэгээ пастор надад хэлсэн чи you can go Аха надад хэсэг зур тусссан юм чи чи цэцэг хүргээд өчгөө. Тэгээ би хүргэж гисэн. Би young man би залуу хүн юм. Want to serve the Lord. Эзэн дүүлч нэрээ. Help my pastor. So I want to pastor. Тэгээ би цэцгээ хаалгаа төгшөл. Hello. Сайн уу? Where is the pastor? Pastor хаа. Not here. Байхгүй юу? Би ирсэн. Тэр цэцэг авчирлаа. Send the pastor. Па пастрага явуул гэх хаалгаас. Do you think God will entrust that person with a kingdom assignment? Бохын ийм хүн хаанчлын даалгавар даалгах гэж үзэж байна. Шүүх дайн бай. О, first time I talk with you. Come on in, have a coffee. Тэ өө Филиппе чамтай анх удаа уулзчих шээ. Яваад тэр цэцэг ачсан баярлалаа гэж хэлж байна шүү дээ. Тэр church. Тэр би сүм дээр. Өөр юм аа church as it today. За би өөрийнхөө сүм дээр үгүй хэлсэн. If you are sick Ирээд та өвчтэй байна. Ask for prayer. Зайлбар зайлбараач гэж үсэж байгаа. Don't complain if I send a teenager. Би танд руу өсөр насны хүүхд явуулж чамаар битий гомдлоод байгаа. Because I know who I send. Би хэнийг явуулж байгаа гэж мэдчихэж байгаа. If I send a teenager is because I know that person. Би өсөр насны хүүхд явуулж байгаа бол би тэр хүн мэдж байгаа учраас явуулж байгаа. Санаатай явуулж байгаа гэсэн. Тэгэл надад том үедээ гаргаж байгаасаа. I know sometimes the Bible says but to go the elders. I know that. And you might get Бичсэн байдаг шүү дээ. Ахлагч нарыг гадуудаа гэхээр би бив хэ мэднэ. The Jesus said. Гэтэл Jesus юу гэж хэлсэн гэхээр This signs will follow those who believe. Итгэгчтэд ийм тэмдэг даалгүй гэсэн. So if I have a young man 16 years old walking well with God, believing God, he qualifies. Бурхамд итгэдэг, бурхамдаа маш сайн алхдаг 16 настай хүүхдтэй хам бол тэр шалгуурыг хангачих байгаа байхгүй. With me. So we need key people. Тэр бид төлхөр хүмүүс. So we need key people. Төлхөр хүмүүс хэрэгтэй. I believe the pastors and the leaders they will work on that maybe the next couple of years. Тэр магадгүй их хэдэн жил өдөр пастор өдөр тэгснэр энэ дээр ажилладаг баг. For when is in the house. Өргөний өмнө гүшн төлхөр хүмүүс. Okay. So we have the then 7000. За тэгээ 7000. Then what should I say? We wait with the 7000. За 7000 хүлээ. 232. 232. To my big surprise. Аха. Миний маш том сюрприз. Залуучууд ис. Young mature people. Залуу төлөвшсөн хүмүүс. When God planned to destroy that system. Бурхан ийм системийг устдаг гар төлөвлөгтөө This is what he brought together. Энэ бүхнийг цуглуулсан бах. Elijah don't face that woman alone. Илия тэр эмхтэтэй ганцаараа нүүд битэй тулах. You have to face her with this. Энэ хүмүүстэй хамт нүүд тулах хэвээр. 7000 what could I say? 7000. Could be just normal believers. Энгийн итгэшнэр. Дэж болох юм. Normal but uncompromised believers. Инги гихтэ дэлхийтэй эмлрээгүй итгэж нэр. Amen. Amen. That's the alliance God goes. Бурхан энэ холбоотнуудыг босгож ирсэн баг. If you follow the following chapters. Та дараагийн бүлгийг уншихын бол we see that God destroyed that system totally. Бурхан энэ системийг бүхэлн устгаж байгаа юм бол collapsed. Тэр ч ихтэй нуурж байгаа. Elijah could not fix Jezebel Isabel юуч засарч илгээр болсон? Jehudi. Yehug. Yehu Isabel-ийг устгасан. Was so difficult for Elijah. Илхий аль хүмүүс хэцүү байсан. You know how long it took for Jehu to kill her? Yehu хэр хугацаанд Isabel-ийг альсныг тагдах уу? Three and a half seconds. Гурван хар. Yeah. He said she was standing on the wall. Тэр хэрмэн дээр явж исэн. She had servants around her. Түүний эргэ тойр зарцсанар нь явж исэн. Jehu said to the servants. Yehu зарцсан исэн. Throw her down. Над эмхтэйг аваа шидчих. Гэж аваа шидчих. Push her down. She collapsed and dogs came and eat her. Тэгэл ноход эрэ түүнийг идсэн. So easy. Амар амархан исэн. 
Elijah thought about suicide. He said, I'm not This young man just fixed the problem. I thought they shot it. A few seconds. Certain things will be impossible for me to fix. But I hope I have some young leaders. We have fought with, with it for 13 years. Maybe it's a problem I have fought with mm -hmm. for 13 years. Not personal, an assignment, difficult assignment. Maybe one of my son daughters, it will take 13 minutes. God is awesome. Can you see that picture? It's absolutely phenomenal. And there were 7,000 unnamed people. They were not prophetic, they were not, they were not key people in that sense, they were not young. They were usual people, but uncompromised. They had stood up all the years. Not I believe there are people like that in Mongolian families here and there in many, many places. What is necessary is where are you? Because maybe that's the signal coming from your life which will trigger them. Maybe that's the signal from this church on the internet radio which will trigger some people somewhere. And you have already seen that happen the last two, three years. Uncompromised. That's how God removed the whole system of Ahab and Jesus. Isn't it interesting? So there are assignments for you as individuals, for me as an individual. But well, I believe that in the future there will be assignments for all churches, corporate assignments. Mm -hmm. So we need, we need that God will raise people and bring them together. I forgot Obadiah. He's not a king, he's not a prophet, he's not young. But he is inside the system, he's here. Smart man. Very smart man. <laughs> he's there. Oh. And he saw that house begin to crack and collapse little by little. I'm sure he was drinking champagne every evening. Oh, I heard from, oh, good news are coming. This woman is coming down. The husband is coming down. All the planes are falling apart. But he played the role he had to play. He didn't begin to prophesy or, or, or clothe cool like young people. <laughs> Red socks or whatever. I'm not joking. I heard a pastor from Australia say, Young people, they love me because I have red socks. And I'm <laughs> oh my. Do you think the devil will also? Yeah, <laughs> just I mean, when I preach to FGC, they love me. 
give me a standing ovation. They love me. I'm saying to you, they love me. What they love me? Not because of my socks. <laughs> my, my cute French accent. <laughs> or my clothes or my haircut. Or... It's because what I tell them. The spirit I carry, because that spirit has no age. Миний because what is the model? Only one. Trust. Trust like this. That's what Paul just shouted out. I am prevailing again like a woman giving birth. So Christ can be formed in you. I'm teaching. No, Christ must be formed. Why? Because you have to reproduce. And we don't want anything else than Christ reproduced. We don't want Philip clones. It's not a sausage factory making same sausages. You know, the same Traban, 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 Traban. <laughs> like in East Germany. No, we are all different. But what is of common is Christ likeness. That's why, oh. Need <laughs> 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 God calling where are you? Maybe you are young, young woman, young man under formation. Spiritual education and professional education. God is preparing that. Maybe, maybe you are just a normal kingdom believer who has no bow your knees for bow. bow you are clean, <laughs> uncontaminated. You live life, wonderful life with God. You walk in intimacy with Him. Then you are one of the 7,000. Don't dream about becoming Elijah. Be who you are expected to be. And do what you are expected to do. Don't be me. Don't be her. Don't be, her. Don't be who you are. Maybe Obadiah, he felt alone inside the palace. But he was important. He provided for the survival of a hundred prophets. Ooh, that's a whole prophetic army. So he was important. Amen. That's it. Amen, amen. 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 That's all for tonight. So, Father, we thank you. Because we knew you are great. But when we follow such a process and such a progression here, we know that we know that we know that we know that, we know that you are great. You are much greater than we thought. And we are fearless when it comes to the future. 
ирээд мэрхэд we will not fear the future бид ирээд үгүй сайхан we will not fear the decisions of the parliament бид нар засгийн газрын шийдвэр үүсгэх болсон not fear the national finances бид нар үндэсний санхүүгийн байдлаас аахгүй we will not fear corruption бид нар хэл санхуулаас аахгүй we want to be kingdom forerunners бид нар хаанчдын өмнө гүшч нар we will do well бид нар сайн байх болно we want to be part of this company of partners бид нар энэ хамтрагчдын нэг байх болно working well working well relating well сайн алхдаг сайн ажилдаг сайн харилцдаг we moving things well юм хэрэггүй зүйлсийг зайлуулахтаа сайн буруу зүйлсийг амьдралаасаа зайлуулахтаа сайн bring good things in our lives сайн зүйлсийг амьдралгаа орох we place darkness with light харанхуу гэрлээр солих болно make us soul of the earth та бидний газрын дав сурах make us the light of the world дэлхийн гэрэл болгоч so we can light for everybody inside the house тэгээ бид нар гэрт байгаа бүх хүний төлөө гэрэлтэх юм аа our family гэртээ ажилтэрэй нэг блок байшинда where we stay where we live where we study амьд дэх газра сур дэх газра all the people taste that we are salt salt бидний давсыг тэд амсах болохгүй байна and we will see something in our eyes courage fearlessness айцгүй байдлыг ер зөөр determination шийдэнгийн байдлыг consistency тууштай байдлыг patience тэвчээртэй compassion сайхан сэтгэл desire to help others босд туслах хүсэл oh god responsibility sense of responsibility sense of responsibility хариуцлагатай байдал not try to run away from responsi- responsibility хариуцлагаас зөвхөдгөө байдал stand up to the challenge харин тэр даалгавруу орж ирдэг take a stand for righteousness зүвт байдлын төлөө босч зөвхөн take a stand for holiness ариун байдлын төлөө зөвхөн take a stand for courage for truth үнний төлөө эр зөргийн төлөө зөвхөн take a stand for brother and sister covenant хан дүүсийн гэрээний төлөө зогсдог. They can stand as sons and daughters. Хүүгүй тогтынхоо хүнд босон зогсдог. In the house. Өргөн дотор. They can stand as fathers and mothers in the house. Өргөний эцэг ихийн хүнд босч зогсдог. Father we thank you. Аав тань талх. The search a good goal. Та үнэхээр сайн бурх юм. Even when we are full of fear, you still work with us. Бид нар маш их айсан байдаг ч та бид нарт ажилласан хэвээрэл үү. That's my Gideon. God said to Gideon. Okay. I can see your heart. I can read the pulse of your heart is too high. Bring your servant with you. Himnel hurtsaj baga karch ийм юм бол зарцыг авч байгаа. He knows our fears, he knows our concerns. Тэр бидний санаа зовлол, тэр бидний айцсан, тэр бидний хязгаарлалт хүлээж байгаа. We can dig deeper and find new resources. Гэтэл бид нар шинэ их сурвалжуудыг олохын тулд гүнзгий болох. Discover new skills. Шинэ хувьта бид нар олж нэх болно. Thank you for that. Amen. 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 Amen.